Hello guys, hope you all doing great. Today I'm going to draw yet another witch from my October project. As always, I'm using fluid watercolor paper in hot press. Here is a little sketch I did before, so I'm gonna use it as a reference for today's picture. This one. Okay, let's begin. I recently got new tabletop lights and microphone, so I hope you can see and hear a difference in quality. Actually, I don't really do anything new in this picture, just the same process as you have seen in my first October video. So I think I will use this time to answer some questions that I got on Instagram. Okay, uh, first question. What is the best advice for aspiring artists besides practice? Well, if I could give only one advice, I think it would be have fun with what you're doing. That sounds simple and obvious, but lots of younger people actually stress a lot about their art and they feel pressure all over the place because of someone is better on the internet. I'm sorry, there's always someone is better on the internet. <laughs> or you cannot find your style, or you don't progress fast enough. If you set your ultimate goal of your creative career as enjoying the process, your art journey and progress will be less painful. I don't think any type of work should bring negative emotion on a daily basis. If you're not having fun and not enjoying what you're doing, maybe you should try doing something else. And I don't mean that art should be easy. You should still practice every day and work hard. Just don't dwell on those problems constantly. Next question. Where do you get most of your inspiration from? I hear this question a lot. Um, I get it from internet. Pinterest, that's where I'm looking for pictures mostly. Plants and going to plant nurseries but also cute clothes and comics and my favorite artists. For example, witches that I'm drawing right now are inspired by different plants and also more girl style. I wanted to create very calm pictures. Most of my witches have casual look, as if they live their regular life among us. Ooh, I forgot to mention, I definitely very inspired by Ghibli movies. My favorite movie is Ponyo and Spirited Away. Yep. Third question. Do you do anything else while you draw? Listen to music, watch TV, etc. Yes, I do. I don't listen to music though. It's too boring for me. I need some action happening. So I usually just watch crime shows such as Dateline, 48 Hours, 2020, that's my jam. Keith Morrison is the best, okay? And I also like Dr. Phil, so no shame. I like every trash show. Well, not that trash, but you know what I mean. Something that I don't need to look at every second and I don't need to use my brain. I also like to watch somebody else's YouTube videos like vlogs or just I don't know, ASMR sometimes, but not TV shows. I get distracted by them and look at the screen and forget to draw, so not TV shows <laughs> and no movies. Fourth question. How do you develop your style? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't make conscious decision to work on my style or look for it or develop it. It is just something like a combination of what I think is cute and I guess my style changes every time my taste changes. I don't know how to have consistent style through years and honestly I don't have a plan or a goal to limit myself with one particular way of drawing and stop changing at all. It is just impossible to me, so I guess the answer is Trust yourself and your taste and draw the way you like and draw a lot and don't draw something that you don't want to do. Or no, wait, draw. <laughs> wait, that went wrong. Uh, 
you still need to draw what you don't want to do just don't draw the way somebody else wants you to draw that's what i wanted to say yes <laughs> and it will somehow come to you that's it oh there was a question also about watercolor time lapse yes it's coming in the future i just need to be done with in october make a book and be back with my watercolor pictures. Little note about what's going on on the video. Here I was trying to make ink wash, but my Pentel light black brush finished and I had to pull out the new one. Luckily I had it. You can see me taking off the safety ring. You need to unscrew the brush part first, take off the ring and then screw the brush back on. Now it will work. Here we go, much better. Back to questions. That were all questions from Instagram, and now I will check questions from my Twitter. Okay, here we go. Favorite legendary Pokemon? That's a hard one. <laughs> My favorite legendary Pokemon is Latias. I'm not a big fan of legendary Pokemons and I don't usually include them in my party, but Latias was an exception and I joined Flying It all over the islands a lot. And it's also very cute. Yep. Second question. Do you ever finish the piece, then come back to it and hate or dislike it? No, I usually get this feeling if something is wrong with my drawing right away. Sometimes I can pull it through and figure out how to make it work or fix it, but if not, I just throw it away and start from the beginning. I almost never have time to work on my pictures in one sitting, so I have plenty of time in between to leave it and come back and maybe see some more mistakes and fix them. So yeah, in the end I usually like my pictures. And the last question for today. How to feel creative and confident in your own art? I feel like this question needs more information. For example, how to feel creative if you haven't been feeling like it for a while. I strongly believe that drawing and practicing every day is more of a habit than being creative. And if you do it seriously for years, you don't need creativity or inspiration to work. At some point you'll just learn how to make the job done. But that's not what you've asked. I guess I don't have a solid answer to this question. To feel creative you need to be excited about something, about some project. If you're talking about art, think of something you really want to make or draw and then start collecting all kinds of references. Sample of colors, words that inspire you, well, everything that you need. Sometimes we don't feel like creative or inspired because we can't envision the picture in our mind. So by collecting all the supportive materials and references, maybe you'll start seeing it better and feeling more creative. That's gonna be the answer for now, but I promise to think of it more later. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. I'm almost done with my cute market witch and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for all your questions. Have a great day and see you soon. Bye!